and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys want to be doing before the Series 6 update. Now, guys, if you haven't watched my video from earlier today, make sure you go watch that before or... If you want to wait, you can go watch it after this video. But I did go over all these Series 6 info, such as what's coming out, well, what we can be expecting to come out, what will, what, what always comes out. And that is the last Series update, so make sure you guys go check that out. And, you know, you're going to probably want to know about that before you know what to do in it. But either way, get in the info. So... As far as what to do before it, guys, a lot of things you want to be doing before the series update because it is the last one, which means quite a few things are coming out that we've been waiting for, and I'll go over all that just in a second, guys. But before we get into this video and go over the bulk of the info, make sure you're going to blow, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Greatly appreciate each and every one of you that shows support on a daily basis. And that's it. Comment down below if you guys need anything. My Twitter DMs are always open, as most of you guys do already know. But let's get into the video. So first thing I want to be letting you guys know to get done is going to be the journey and the gauntlet. I'm going to explain why. So as you guys may not already know, or as you guys may know, I've mentioned this quite a few times on my channel. Coming over to the gauntlet, there are two gauntlets. There's gauntlet one and the gauntlet two. Coming over to the journey, there's a journey completion set. So you have to throw in the journey one, journey two, journey three, journey four completion. Now what's confusing here is that I believe there's only three journeys, or there's only two journeys. I'm gonna check that out in just a second. But as you guys see, so you guys need to see right here, two gauntlets and there's four journeys. Now the journey completion set is when you do all the journeys. Now the gauntlet completion set is when you do all the gauntlet. Now there's no gauntlet completion set yet. That's what I expect to come out on Friday, which is the release date, which is March 20th, and the following Friday. So as you guys come over, let's check out the journeys. Is there a completion token for this one? There is. Okay, good. Okay, so we're fine. So pretty much every journey has a completion token. Journey one, journey two, and journey diamonds. So pretty much what you got to do is you're going to want to earn these completion tokens because I'm starting tomorrow. They will be, I mean, starting the Friday, they will be releasing the final journey, which it does mean you guys will be eligible to go ahead and get your journey master, which could be anything. It could be like a 97 overall Michael Thomas. It could be like a 90 something overall something. It could be a 95 plus, it could be a 99, it could be a 98. We don't know the overall, but it's going to be really, really good. Now, the way you get this is by maxing out your stars, I believe. So you're going to need 200 stars. Now, if I stay, if I'm not wrong, 200 stars out of... Let's see, 14, 17, 19. Let's add these all up and see how many stars are total. How many stars can we get from each one? We can get a total of four. That's it. All right, we can get a total of four stars. And let's count up the stars challenges. So we have 14 plus 17 plus 19. So that's 50 times four. 200 stars you can get total, which I believe is what I thought. You have to get every star maxed out every single solo to get the journey one completion. Sounds a little hard. But it's really not. It's going to take a little bit of time. Same thing with this one. I believe I'm not even going to do the math again. I believe it's the same thing. 200 stars for Journey 2. And then for Journey 3, same thing. Journey 3 is going to be the Diamonds, which is going to be all the way down. 320, which I imagine the most. Now, guys, here's the thing with these solos. You can wait. You don't have to get them done before. But here's the thing. Imagine they drop the set, right? Journey Completion Master. It's something crazy. It's a really high... It's a 99 Michael Thomas or something. You guys all want it. Then... You guys are going to be like, oh my god, I got to go play the solos. And you're going to be like, wow, I got to play through four solo sequences. Bad enough, you got to go replay them once you get the max stars. Then you got to go back and go play the new one from scratch. It'll take you weeks. You'll never get it done. Start playing them now. It's mad and limbo. We don't got much. You guys got a whole week and a day. You have eight total days. Get one done today. Get one done tomorrow. Get one done this weekend. You have plenty of time. And then when it comes out, just go straight through, bang it out, and you're going to have your brand new journey master. Same thing with Gauntlet, guys. Gauntlet's going to be in the exact same premise. Go through Gauntlet. Play the Gauntlet. And once you're done with the gauntlet, you will get the tokens as well. Now, I believe there's going to be the third gauntlet. Pro it has to be tomorrow. Because tomorrow is... I mean, sorry. Stop, I stopped saying tomorrow. The next uh, update. Because that is the final gauntlet. That's the final series update. So, that's when we're going to get our final journey. Yeah, special rewards. So you turn it at the end of the year for special reward. We're going to get our final journey and our final gauntlet all at the same time. So, that's the first thing you guys want to be doing. Next is assessing your power passes. So, with this final update, we will be getting a 98 overall power pass. And, guys, I do suspect we will be getting a 99 as well. As like last time, guys, we got a 96 and 97. I do believe we'll be getting a 98 and then a 99, potentially, because if it's the last update, this is the last time they can give us a power pass. So, I'm imagining it has to be in this one that they end up giving us our free power pass for 99 overall. So, that does mean, guys, one thing specifically. You will be able to get Night Train Lane or Lamar Jackson for free starting on next Friday as well as if we do get a 99 you can get Mahomes for free too which means you could combine Mahomes with Nitro Lane two of the best cards in the game 
for free. But here's the thing. Remember, Mahomes, you don't have to keep him on him. What I'd recommend for you guys who have Mahomes powered up ready, toss him on Mahomes, rock with him for a while, have one of the best quarterbacks for a while, and then when it's all said and done and a bunch of 99s start coming out, take him off and get the one you really want. But remember, there won't be 99s probably like another two weeks minimum, then they'll probably drop another one. So you can just rock with Mahomes for now, and when they start becoming 99s consistently, just take the power pass off and go put it who you want it on. But remember, golden tickets cannot be powered up, so don't anticipate like, oh, I'll save my 99 pass for golden ticket. They cannot be powered up, which means you cannot use a power pass on them, which does kind of suck, but it makes sense that EA would go that route because then people would just use all their power pass on the golden tickets and it'd just be a waste for them to even release them in their eyes money-wise and us opening packs-wise. But still going to be super excited for all these power passes because that does mean, for me personally, I want to try out Knight. I want to try out Lamar. I'll probably use it on Lamar. Try him out. If I like him, I'll keep him. And if not, I'll just take it back off. Use my Mahomes, and then I'll just go ahead and use it on Night Train Lane. But here's the thing: I think Night Train Lane might jump down in price a lot when the new Power Pass come out. First off, there's going to be a Redux Lamar Jackson. Remember that. He's going to come down in value a good amount. But I fear that he still might be over a million coins. Which in that case, I'll go use my Power Pass on him. Night Train Lane might drop to like 550k based on everyone using the Power Passes and cards crashing so in that case as well i'll just end up buying night train lane and then using lamar guys you really only have a combination of three here so they're not going to be that hard for you to choose but things will be coming out between that time span so hopefully something else comes out pretty cool between them that we can also add to these options but the free agency promo definitely will drop some 98s 97s as well as maybe even a 99 that we, at least we can hope it will and then we have paths to the draft and we have the golden ticket so quite a few things coming out in that regards and guys your trophies you want to be you want to be using your trophies before see in my, you're gonna lose half right now so for me i'm gonna end up going back like always this happens every single series to about what is it 380 386 386 trophies. i'm gonna lose it all again so my, I, my best interest would probably be to go open this wheel of coins pack 79 times i feel like the potential is that i can either i get 79k or i get a lot more probably gonna take my chance with this probably do it on a video for you guys make a decent amount of coins off this because i'm tired of wasting all those trophies 89 plus i don't think it's worth it at the end of the day you'll probably end up getting like an if you get like an 89 i think that's only like 30k i think so that's not that's really not going to be too much maybe 40k and then on top of that you only get to uh you sell it you make it after reduction at like 36k really not worth it i'm obviously not going to reach these in the next week or so i don't i don't play enough online right now and even if i did do weekend league i don't think i'd get my rewards oh uh, no i get my rewards in time maybe i'll do that I, I gotta look into it but wheel of coins i might end up doing that as a video idea for you guys just make sure you're using your trophies because at the end of the day, if you spend it down to 360, right, which is what I mean, or 380, which would be my half, that then turns into about 190. So I only really lost 170 trophies. Right now I'm losing 360. So you're better off getting to a lower number, get close to the number you're going to lose to, and then let it lose from there. Because if I lose to the number again, I, this will be the third straight series that I went down to 300, like 60. I'm really sick and tired of doing so. So hopefully I can use my trophies properly so we can get this done properly and maybe get a little return on coins too. Make a good video out of it. That could be super fun. And like I said, a lot of Redux cards will be coming out, so definitely stay on the, t on the block for that. If you guys have any LTD cards that are still super high in price, sell them off. You're going to get them lost. Let's say you have Ed Two Tall Jones. Now, I don't know what they're going for. I'll check them out for you guys right here, but I, I understand that a lot of them, people might be selling them uh, cheaper already. That's just the nature of the game and how this works. But let's check. Let's say you like Ed Two Tall Jones and you, had, you bought them for a pretty expensive price. Make sure you're selling them because if you don't sell them now, you're going to lose a lot of coins. So let's see these LTDs. Ed Too Tall Jones, I believe, is a left end, right? So let's check this out. Ed Too Tall. So he's 550k. Sell him for 550k now, please. Because then he's going to get a Redux card come next Friday. And then he's going to end up being like 350k, 400k. Not even, probably 350, 400. Barely. I think that's the best bet because you're going to save 150k right there. Maybe you can sell him for 695. How many people are going to still buy them knowing that you're doing that? I don't know. The only piece coming out. People who don't know, though, you can probably take advantage of and you know get your coins back on that some people just like having ltd cards i don't know people have money people like using them to sell co uh, coins with up to you guys i just recommend you don't hold on to ltds that will be on that list if you guys want to know what that list is go to my last video from earlier i did recap the whole redux list so you will be able to go back and see if you have anyone on that list realistically guys it's been a while if you have an ltd card you more than likely have someone on the list even gail sayers made the list and gail sayers just came out gail sayers another one that you might want to give the boot at some point here because he's 800k I'd sell his ass so fast because his Redux card is only going to be like 450k. Just letting you guys know. So that's my little advice right there. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to check out today's earlier video for all the information regarding this update. Thank you guys for watching this video. A big thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the only bub boys. Come join the family. Thank you for watching. I'm out. See you guys on the next video. Peace.